Hello guys, welcome to the Rachana Sharira lecture series. So, in this video, we are going to study about Snayu Sharira. Okay, concept of Snayu and its clinical importance. Okay, now, when we see Snayu, first of all, when we go to its etymology, the Yudpati, the word Snayu is formed from Sna and Un Dhatuhu. Okay, the Nirukti of Snayu states that Anga Pratyanga Sandhi Bandhana Rupayaha Snayu. The Amara Kosha here signifies that Snayu are the binding structure. Okay, it, it, it is a binding structure which binds different body parts. Different body parts here are Anga Pratyanga Sandhi Bandhana. Okay, that does Snayu. So, therefore, Anga Pratyanga Sandhi Bandhana Rupayaha Snayu. Snayu iti Shanakara Visheshaha Yena Dhatu Nim Nyayante. The Dalhana commenting on the Sushruta Sutra Sloka states that Snayu is a structure which has structural resemblance with Shana. Shana is nothing but a bow, bow with a string attached to it. How the string holds the bow tightly intact to its original state like that. Uh, the snayu holds the, uh, we can consider okay let let me clear here that snayu is not, not a tendon not a ligament not a muscle okay we cannot uh, correlate snayu with a particular structure of the body okay it may be tendon it may be ligament it may be a muscle okay let me clear here so just let's study what is snayu here Okay, snayu structure which resembles like a shana, okay, shana akara visheshaha, yena dhatu nihante, means which is prepared from a hemp fiber, okay, shana is nothing but a, uh, a bow with a string which is prepared from hemp fiber, that is how the bow string holds the body by keeping it intact, similarly the snayu which may be a tendon, which may be a ligament, which may be a uh, muscle, okay, which holds the body intact, different body parts, anga pratyanga is known as snayu. Now, according to Moiner Williams Dictionary, the meaning of word snayu me, uh, as uh, uh, the word of the meaning of word snayu is any snew, ligament, tendon, muscle, nerve, or vein. Okay, it may be a muscle, it may be a ligament, it may be a joint, it may be a tendon. So we cannot correlate snayu as a particular structure of the body. And then Mamsa Bhedvi Tayur Mulam Snayu Twachanda Rakta Vahashta Dhamanyaha means Snayu is one among the Mula, okay, the root of Mamsa Vastrotas. Okay, there are two Mula of Mamsa Vastrotas and Snayu is one among them. Now, when we see the Utpatti, that is formation of Snayu, Medha Saha Sneha Madaya Sira Snayu Twam Mapnayat Siranam Tu Madhupaka Snayu Nam Tathakharaha. Again, Medha Saha. Snehamadeha Siras Nayutwap Nuyat Siranam Tumudupakaha Snayunam Tatahakara means when the Meda gets spark, okay, Meda gets spark to form the other dhatu, the subsequent dhatu when it gets formed, when it is uh, undergoing any metabolical, okay, metabolical transformation, its mudupaka leads to sira. Okay, and Kharapaka leads to Snayu. Okay, here they are clearly saying, Sushruta, Acharya Sushruta, that Siranam to Mudupaka, the Mudupaka of Meda gives Sira. Snayu nam tatha khara. Kharapaka gives Snayu. When we see the theory part of it, the Sneha Bhaga, the essence part of Meda, is transformed into Sira and Snayu. Okay, through Mudupaka and Kharapaka. Among them, Snayu is formed by Kharapaka of Meda. It is somewhat important, so let's. So listen carefully. That is during the developmental process, the essence part of Sara, the essence part Sara of Medas undergo metabolical process Paka and form Sira and Snayu. Among them, Sira is formed by Mudupaka and Snayu is formed by Kharapaka. That's it. Okay. Then Medas or Snayu Sambhava means Snayu is produced from the Upadhatu of Meda. Okay. It is clear. Now, Snayu Sankhya, the number of Snayu present in human body. Navaha Snayu Shatanihi. Okay, there are 900, 900 snayu present in body. Navaha, 9, Shatani, 100. So, total 900 snayu is present in human body. Among them, Shakhagata, the extremity is 600. 
मध्य शरीर दट इज थोरैक्स एंड अबडोमिनल 230 एंड ऊर्ध्वजत्रुक तथा ग्रीवोपरि व्हिच आर नथिंग बट अबो क्लाविकुलर रीजन्स ऑफ क्लाविकुलर रीजन विथ 70 सो टोटल व्हेन वी काउंट इट इट मे बी इट विल बी ओके 900 स्नायु इन द ह्यूमन बॉडी नाउ व्हेन वी सी द डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ शाखा मध्य शरीर ऊर्ध्वजत्रुकता ओके हियर दे आर कंसीडरिंग दैट इन ईच लिम देयर 150 स्नायु ओके ईच लिम देयर फोर लिम्स इन द बॉडी टू अपर लिम टू लोअर लिम ओके व्हेन वी मल्टीप्लाई इनटू फोर इट विल बी 600 150 इनटू फोर 600 व्हेन मध्य शरीर वी नो विथ 230 ओके विथ द 230 आर डिवाइडेड एंड कट इज 60 टू स्टार 80 पार्श्व आर 60 वक्षास 30 एंड ऊर्ध्वजत्रुकता उत्तर जतुकता आर 70 ओके हाउ दे आर 70 डिवाइडेड ग्रीव आर 36 एंड शिरस आर 34 ग्रीव दैट इज नेक आर 36 एंड शिरस आर 34 दैट इज हेड 34 नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू सी द टाइप्स ऑफ स्नायु बेस्ड ऑन देयर स्ट्रक्चर्स शेप एटसेट्रा ओके दे आर डिवाइडेड इनटू फोर टाइप्स व्हिच आर फर्स्ट इज प्रतानवति स्नायु व्हिच कैन बी कोरिलेटेड विद द लिगामेंट्स अकॉर्डिंग टू द स्ट्रक्चर प्रतानवति स्नायु आर लॉग लॉन्ग लिगामेंटस स्ट्रक्चर्स प्रेजेंट इन द एक्सट्रीमिटीज एंड जॉइंट्स ऑफ बोन द स्लोका स्टेट्स दैट प्रतानवत्य शाखासु सर्वसंधिषु चाप्यतः मींस प्रतानवति स्नायु आर द स्नायु प्रेजेंट इन शाखा एंड सर्वसंधि ओके शाखा नथिंग बट एक्सट्रीमिटीज एंड सर्वसंधि इज ऑल जॉइंट्स ऑफ द बोन ओके in normally by uh, the modern correlations also the the most of the snayu the most of the ligamentous part the most of the tendinous parts are present on the extremities itself for example i am taking here a part of a joint a joint okay where it is a it, it's actually a knee joint okay here a femur and tibia fibula okay and this is a patella okay as you can see in the figure so the number of ligaments present here are mainly four to five okay which are anterior cruciate ligament posterior cruciate ligament lateral collateral ligament medial collateral ligament okay and it is arterial cart cartilage and many other okay this is a tendon okay now we can say that uh, pratanvati snayu are present in the leg extremities okay uh, by correlating it now second is vritta snayu it can be correlated with tendons okay vritta astu khandaraha sarva vigneha kushalaya okay vritta vritta the simple meaning of vritta is circular okay the here acharya is saying that all the circular structures present in the body which is like a tendon okay which can correlate with a tendon are kandaraha sarva vigneha kushalaya means kushala vaidya should understand that vritta snayu are kandaraha okay all the vritta snayu are kandaraha all the circular shaped structures or ligamentous part are kandaraha vritta snayu circular shape can be related with the tendons okay mainly they, uh, we know that tendons are nothing but a muscle to bone joint okay the tendons are nothing but a semicircular circular structure so we can correlate tendons with the kandaraha okay nothing much the third is shushiraha shushira snayu ama pakva shanteshu vasteja shushiraha kushalaha shushiraha khaluhu means आम पक्वाशेंतेशु बस्ते आम अमाश पक्वाशेन बस्ते आदर स्नायु सुशीरा सुशीरा इज मेनली अ सॉफ्ट टिश्यूस ओके सुशीरा स्नायु आर व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन द कैविटी स्पेस ऑफ विसेरा ओके मेनली कैविटी स्पेसेस सॉफ्ट टिश्यूस द स्ट्रक्चर्स व्हिच आर प्रेजेंट इन दोस फॉर एग्जांपल अमाश पक्वाशेन बस्ते आर सुशीरा स्नायु ओके देन वी कम टू द फोर्थ स्नायु द लास्ट स्नायु इज वृत्त स्नायु flat tendons buthulus nai are flattened or ribbon like shaped tendons okay the flat tendons can be considered as buthulus nai ho parshvirasi tatha prishte buthulasha shirasya shirasya means parsh with the lateral parts of trunk pushed back ura chest shira head region the snayu that are present on those regions can be considered under buthulus nai ho okay clear next snayu karya when we see the function of snayu it does a many it, it does a mainly binding function okay here sharangadara in the purva khanda states snayu bandhana prokta dehe maam sasti medasam means snayu does the binding function of maam asti and medas maam sasti medasam okay the function of binding of body parts is done by snayu okay as we are clearly seeing that it is binding the bones it is binding the muscles okay major some of the fatty tissues are also present okay uh, i cannot clearly uh, say that but we can see clearly the muscle and uh, bones and so the snayu does the function of binding maams asti okay this is the actual function of snayu snayu karya now 
when we see uh, uh, here the Shushrit Asha Shushrita state has uh, uh, given some simile about the function of Snayu. Okay, the sloka here states that it is one of the important slokas, so try to remember it. Nauryatha Falakastirna Bandhanair Bahu Bhiyutaha Bharakshama Bhavedapsu Niyukta Susamahitaha Eva Meha Shari Rasmin Yavantha Sandhya Smutaha Snayurbhir Bhurvidhastayana Bharasa Naraha Okay, the, the quotation states that just like a boat is built with the wooden planks. Okay, Nauryatha Nauka Nauka, Nau Matlab Yaha now Ryatha means nothing but a boat. Okay, now Ryatha Falaka Stirna. Falaka. Falaka is nothing but a planks. Okay, wooden planks. Stirna Bandhane Bahur Bihita. When just like a boat is built with a wooden planks, Falaka Stirna Bandhana binding placed side by side when fast and tightly by ropes in many ways becomes capable of carrying weight in the water. Bharakshama Bhavedapsu Nurukta Sumasamahita. Su Samahita. Capable, su samahita, capable of carrying weight in the body, which is steered by a boatman. Okay, we know. Now, eva mena, now comes the snayu. Okay, here he is discussing the two about two words of the uh, of lines of the verse states that how the boat is built, how the boatman steers the boat by carrying the weight on it, how it flows in the water. Very um, Similarly, all joints in the human body are fastened, are tied, are bind by various snayuhu. Snayur bir bahur bir baddhastena. Snayur bir bahur bir baddhastena means the similarly all the sandhi are fastened by various snayuhu because of which human beings becomes capable of carrying it. Bharasaha naraha. Naraha means human beings, Bharasa is being capable of carrying the weight. Okay. It is a sloka which signifies the beautiful nature of Snayu, how it does the function. Okay. We know the binding, binding is the function of Snayu, but how does it? This sloka states very much uh, importance of Snayu, Snayu Mahatvaha. We know the function of the Snayu. Okay. We know the types of snayu. Now let's discuss what is the importance of snayu. Na yastini na va pesho na siraha na cha sandeha. Okay. Na yastini na va pesho na siraha na cha sandeha. Vyapadistata nyarata snayu sharanana. Means on injury neither asti nor peshi nor muscles nor sira nor sandhi. That is joints. Okay. Vyapadi vyapadi satata. Hanyuryata snayu means the clear meaning of the sloka is on injury to either asti, mamsa, that is peshi or sira or sandhi, okay, or sandhi does not inflict the person so as snayu. How, I mean, itna pain aapko agar asti ko laga, mamsa ko laga, sira ko laga, ya joint me laga, utna pain aapko nahi hoga, jitna pain snayu ko lagne se hoga, injury hoga snayu ko, utna pain hoga, okay, you will feel a one feels a uh, much amount of pain and discomfort when the snayu got injured. So, one should protect it from injuries. Okay, this is the importance of snayu. Again, yaha snayu, yaha snayu pravijanati bahyascha abhyantarastatha sagudam shalya mahur dehaschan knoti dehinam. Therefore, one who has a knowledge of external and internal snayu, pravijanati bhayascha abhyantarastata, one who has knowledge of bhaya and abhyantara snayu, that is external and internal snayu, he is capable of extracting shalya, good shalya, extracting deeply seated shalya from the body. Okay, so, so the knowledge, so the knowledge of snayu is very important for a particularly surgeon so that he can remove the uh, deeply seated any foreign body um, and uh, give the relief to a patient who is in a very discomfort or a uncomfortable condition okay so these are some of the importance of snipe now when we see the clinical aspects of snayu there are many clinical aspects okay some of them are ante ante rayamaha and for amprosthotus 
ante rayama and prostotus it is that it is uh, one of the tetanic spasm okay tetanic spasm in which a head and feet are brought towards the each other okay we can see the b structure here it is remember ante rayama the head and feet are brought matlab uh, they they come towards each other okay like a back arched back arched position okay this is anterayama bahya ayama opis thotonus a state of severe hyperextension and splacidity in which the individuals head neck and spinal column enter into complete bridging arching portion the a structure a figure okay that is bahya ayama it is anterayama okay now dhanus sambha it is actually stratanus okay this this is stratanus clearly a bow shaped structure a serious bacteric bacterial infection it causes painful muscle spasm and can lead to death is tetanus dhanus stambha these are all snail related injuries okay clinical aspects okay ame uh, now snail sthita kuryat dhudas thai ayama kujjata injury of snail uh, some of the diseases happen such as gridrasi sciatica antarayama bahirayama kujjata that is hum back hum back is one of the disease okay these are also snail diseases okay these are some of the clinical aspects now when the ligaments often connects two bones okay we know bone to bone connection is ligament so the condition related to joint spasm comes under its clinical aspects like, like such as tennis elbow or injury to the ankle joint knee joint all are the uh, clinical aspects related to snail okay here we end a uh, snail shayara okay thank you